Stephen Schmitz, I come from California, and I'm the board secretary for Eurotas. Uh, my name is Giovanna Calabrese, I'm from Italy, and I'm a board member, and um, uh, with Re Regina Hess, we started the, the Eurotas <coughs> division of transpersonal research, and Lindy and Aurora from uh, South Africa are both part of this session of Eurotas. I'm Magda, Magda Solé from Barcelona, Catalonia, and I'm, I'm the board member too. I'm Maria Rossi Fisivei from uh, here, Greece, but I live and uh, work in, uh, in Catalonia, Barcelona with Magda, and this is my first year as professional member of the association. Welcome. I'm Kati Wortelkamp, I'm from, from Germany, and <laughs> Oh. Talking stick. <laughs> <laughs> that the board uh, offered me last year. So, okay. I have been in several um, Eurotas conferences 
I'm a professional member since um, last year. My name is Hans Peter Weidinger. Please speak louder. I think it's it's not yeah. very easy to. My name is Hans Peter Weidinger. Use the microphone. Use the microphone. I am the delegate from the Austrian Association for Transpersonal Psychology, and I am helping the board with the registration of all of Eurotas in Austria and the bank account. Hello. Um, I'm Stuart Sobotsky. I think this is my fifth Eurotas conference. And uh, as time goes on, it's like just seeing, seeing friends. So uh, that feels quite beautiful. And I'm a co-president of the American uh, Transpersonal Association. Hi, I'm Meta Shukir from Israel. Hi. And it's my third time here at the conferences. And I present the uh, Ridman College, uh, which is a college in Israel, and we have a program of transposing psychotherapy. I'm Tana Jakubowicz Mount from Poland, and I've been I've been with Eurotas since 1993, and I'm really thrilled and happy and grateful to be here, and really grateful to Lindy for organizing. Thank you. Hello, my name is Elina Junta. I'm a member of the Greek Associ uh, Transpersonal Association. I am <laughs> <laughs> from Greece. Yeah. And it's the first time. I'm really happy and really grateful for this happening too. I am Lena Nesmina from uh, Latvia. I am board member of Latvian Association. Happy to be here. My name is Evita Zagul, I'm from Latvia, and I'm a member of the Latvian Transpersonal Association. Uh, my name is Vinetta Laxdina, and I'm also from Latvia, but partly from Australia. Uh, and this is my fourth conference, as um, now attending as a professional member. I'm happy to be here. Thanks. Ofra Ayalon, this is my second time here. I'm so happy to see old faces and to meet new ones. We are working in Israel, especially in Neta, and uh, towards uh, creating an association in Israel, and it's coming up. Les Lancaster, I'm from England, president of the International Transpersonal Association, and uh, I'd like to thank everyone for the Warm welcome of being here at Eurotas and in particular Synthesis mm -hmm. and uh, Lindy for the hard work that has gone on. I'm Katerina Baba Constantino. I'm just a participant. <laughs> Great. I have a degree in psychology, but I'm not affiliated to Eurotas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ingrida Indana, I'm from Latvia, I'm Eurotas Executive Director, I'm board member and also a professional member. I'm Rana Neuma from South Africa and I'm a member of the EDTR. Thank you. I'm Lindy, <clears throat> I'm a member of the EDTR and also a professional member of Eurotas and the president of Synthesis. And I'm Virgil Johnson. Uh, I became a member last year. I paid my second fee. Um, so I'm a member, but I'm an individual member, so I do what I want. It's <laughs> good. Um, I'm Bo Wikström from uh, Stockholm, Sweden, and I'm a professional member. And uh, I've been coming and going a little bit for, I was around uh, 12 years ago and uh, even was vice president in the Eurotas for a couple of years, I think. And uh, now I'm back. So it's good to see you, some of you from the oldies and some very new ones. Hi, I'm Rino Trotida and I came from Switzerland. I'm partly Indian and partly Australian and I'm um, one of the professional members with Eurotas. Thank you. I'm uh, Ilie Gradinaro from uh, Romania. I'm a president um, 
big uh, association in uh, Romania. And in uh, 2016, uh, my association organized, uh, excuse me, I don't speak very good English, uh, the Eurotas in uh, Romania. <coughs> Hello, my name is Nicolas Vajakakos. It is my first time in Eurotas and I'm a member of the synthesis group. <coughs> very happy to be here. All welcome. Hello, I'm Dorothea Capula. I am a member of Polymer Synthesis. Uh, I wish you all welcome and I'm happy to be here. I'm Dimitris Livas. I am the treasurer of Synthesis. And uh, I hope everything goes well with uh, every one of you <laughs> here in the Congress. And I am here because of the member of membership of the board. Hi there, I'm Vitor Rodriguez from Portugal, and I belong in the old furniture of Eurota. <laughs> <laughs> Very good all the time to be back here. Hello, I'm Nicolas Magalhos. I'm a member of uh, Synthesis, a board member of you know, the organizing committee. It's my first time, and I'm glad to be here and participate in this excellent uh, congress. Hello, I'm Tamara Wills. This is my first time here. I'm part of the <coughs> personal Academy. I'm here with my husband. Hello, everybody. Hello. 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 My name is Ralph. I'm coming also from Switzerland. I don't know who I am, but it feels very good to be here. <laughs> um, my name is Romana Kres. I come from Slovenia. Um, I think this might be the fourth conference that I've, Eurotas conference that I've attended. Um, I'm a professional member and also a practicing transpersonal psychotherapist and uh, delighted with the kind of new events or development that Eurotas is taking, the research division and uh, this professional division. So we'll, I hope we'll continue in this direction professionally. Hello, my name is Mark Wentworth from the UK and I'm a member of Europe, the individual member of Eurotax. My name is Vladimir Maikov, I'm from Moscow. I'm representing the Russian Association of Personal Psychology and Psychotherapy and uh, I am uh, with uh, Eurotax since 1995. In I'm one of the dinosaurs of Europe, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, uh, I'm very happy to be here to see you. <laughs> my name is Christiane Jacobs. He's my husband. <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> participating at several Eurotas conferences and I'm, a, I'm coming from Germany and I'm a professional member. <laughs> My name is Yuri. Uh, I'm representing the Estonian Transpersonal Association. I'm a board member of Eurotas, a professional member. Uh, we have a transpersonal school in Estonia, and my passion and mission in the world is establishing transpersonal education. Thank you. Uh, hello, I'm Regina from Germany. I came 2007 the first time to a Eurotas conference. At that time, I lived in the US and got a PhD in transpersonal psychology. And now I'm a board member and also co founder of the Division of Transpersonal Research. And for me, it's again the feeling of a full circle because now we have the collaboration of ATP and ITA here in this conference, so it's so beautiful to, to have this joint event. I'm very thankful for that. <coughs> Thank you very much for synthesis for that also. I'm from Moldova, Hadidin was successful. I'm a board member and uh, I'm a president of Moldovan Association. And I um, attend this uh, movement from 2003 and I'm happy every year to see <laughs> and to be here. Thank you. 
I am Chef Richard Suada from Milan, Italy. I am Vice President of Eurostars, uh, the training school analyzed by the Minister of University. We are editor of the ECJ, the Journal, and we will organize the festival <laughs> next. next year. And uh, never we did something like this, and uh, if you come, you will say, I will there, I will be there. <laughs> My name is Jaume Mestres from Barcelona, Spain. I am coach, and I am the responsible of the Federal Treasurer of Eurotas. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, dear members. <laughs> These are my friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I don't think there are new organizational members in this room. There is. There is. Ah, who? Cool. So ah, okay. So yeah. maybe, yeah, okay. Yeah. So maybe could you introduce you as an okay. uh, organizational member so yeah. that we know, you know, this uh, okay. new. Association or institute. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. We can just put that for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but not the organization. The organization. I don't know who I am, but I know the organization. Yeah. <laughs> okay. To give you a brief idea, I'm a psychologist. I've been working in a mental hospital. Afterwards, I became a stockbroker. Uh, I was working in the stock exchange. Uh, then. Uh, I started to teach mostly business people to bridge the two worlds. So the, you know, the psychiatric world of mad people and the mad people outside of the mad, you know, <laughs> madness. So, um, <coughs> I find it very intriguing, so I'm a bridge maker. And um, I have been in many traditions. Uh, basically, I teach meditation uh, from various traditions, trying to build a meta perspective. Um, um, being also a psychotherapist, I, 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 um, on a personal level, I try to, to liberate people as fast as I can from their conditioning, ego is conditioning, to bring them into that spacious awareness. So, we have designed a program, eight days program, to bring uh, people uh, into a state of, let's say, oneness or non-dual consciousness, and to coach people out of that consciousness. Um, one thing for me which has been very important was the meeting with uh, Professor Peter Kingsley, uh, which was about seven years ago. I organized a workshop for him, and um, he is building most of what he does on the, the Greek um, um, method of incubation. So I've been in the Buddhist tradition, in the Zen tradition, I'm working with the Shaolin monk, I've been in the Advaita tradition. I had a Sufi teacher, when, when, which was about 40 years ago, and when I met his work, it was like, ah, oh, this is the missing link. This is the origin of the Western civilization. He's, you know, so I congratulated him, and then he asked me to organize a workshop for him in Europe, which I did about seven years ago, and he became a friend of mine. And the main message I learned from him is we have to be rooted in our own culture. We can learn from, you know, from Buddhism, from Zen, from shamanism, but we, we, we have to be rooted in our own culture. What are the mystic origins of our own culture? Thank you. And, I, I'm, you know, I'm a quite skeptical guy, but I'm also very open and curious, and I'm always interested into methods. And... Um, I was very keen to understand what is our method? What, how do we use the senses really to go into that spacious awareness? Who is using the senses? You know, you're looking through your eyes, but who is it who's looking through your eyes? And who's listening through your ears? So the, you know, what I teach is how you, how you follow the senses inside instead of outside, because normally the senses lead you outside. So how do you go inside. And what I love very much is all the uh, neuroscience stuff, which especially helps me to translate what I do, you know, with business people. Mm -hmm. 
the advantage working with business people, which I do since 25 years, is um, they are not so esoterically um, brainwashed like like you know, a lot of people. Uh, so they're very skeptical, but they come open-minded. So they, they kind of you know they. So my job is to put them into a state of non-dual awareness, and then also what I've learned from an Advaita teacher with whom I was about 10 years is um, to make that state of, let's say, non-dual consciousness or oneness, to make that your main operating system. Because I know a lot of people who have been meditating since 20 years or 30 years or 40 years, but after the meditation they really behave like, like you know, like everybody else. So how to bring that awareness into your daily life in how you speak, how you teach, into your decision making processes. And this is, you know, like you know, like Dogen, the Zen master of the thirteenth century in Japan said, you know, to take the backward step. How to to take the backward step in a way that it becomes your main operating system. So that's most of what I think. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm representing myself. Yeah. Ah, not in your organization. No, I have a little organization. I do courses with my wife in transpersonal coaching. Um, it's kind of a fast program, uh, which is an eight-day program to bring people into that kind of new operating system. What I especially like very much, for example, is is the the status of Norman Farb of the University of Toronto because he really helps us to understand that. You've got two operating systems in your brain. One he calls a narrative mode, and the other one is a direct experience mode. So you can either be in the one or in the other one, and how to shift your awareness into a direct experience. The thing is that you don't know before what will what you will speak or what you will say or how you will decide. So you live in that uncertainty. You live in that momentary awareness. And what I found is that the Greek mystics, two and a half thousand years ago, they have kind of a perfect way for us to dive into that sensory awareness, into that kind of direct experience mode. And that's what I teach with. And I feel very, very comfortable here. It's beautiful. You know, it's like it's the first time I had an intuition about two years ago to look if there are any other weird people around on the planet like me and uh, then I found uh, the, the ATP people before I found Eurotas and then I looked around a little more I found Eurotas and it's, it's kind of I'm ready to to be part of a larger organization also because uh, it's a very lonely place also to be alone out there and just do your thing you know very welcome. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I have one for my question. I'm sorry. I don't know if you shared the same uh, feeling that this is very stuffy here and we need more air. Yes. To breathe. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, who could help us with it? short report as president and then the different board members will explain a little bit more about what they were doing during this uh, past year. As I said, it was my first year as president and uh, the first thing I want to say is that uh, when I accepted to be president after Ingo, I was a little bit worried about my capacity to to do the, this job because it, I knew that it required time. And uh, I would never have said yes if Ingrida Indan, who is our 
executive director didn't have been there. Mm -hmm. So uh, she's, I think, now the key, you know, the, the, the real uh, uh, central connection for all of us. And she's very efficient, she's very well organized, and we like to work together. And I think we, we are a good team, and, and that's the basis of, uh, of uh, you know, an interesting uh, way of working. Thank you very much, Ingrid. I have about how it works in Eurotas, but as we are new people, I will tell a little bit about how we are organized. So we, as a board, we meet three times a year. So we met uh, each year during the, just before the conference, so in different countries. So last year it was in Moldova, in Chisinau, just before the conference. And then we had a meeting in California in February, two days two day meeting, and the last uh, meeting in June in Milano, and the third one was yesterday, here. Um, so each time we met two days, except when there is a conference, because before the board meeting, there is also the meeting for the organization uh, process and, and certification uh, and accreditation process for professional members and an institute within ESTP. I'll tell you more. Um, so what you have to know is uh, we try as much as possible to, uh, s to organize these meetings where we live because uh, each one of us then is responsible to organize the, the whole thing. And uh, when it's possible, we try to stay uh, at, the, at people's house to uh, uh, minimize the expenses because you have to know that uh, board members travel from the very beginning of Eurotas at their own expenses. Eurotas doesn't have the money you know, to cover these expenses. So the part of the, of the motivation is uh, really to give something to, to this community. Um, when we met in California <coughs> in February, Stephen organized uh, <coughs> for Eurotas in collaboration with ITA, ATP, and Sofia University the first global symposium in transpersonal psychology. So it was the first time the three asso main associations in the world uh, started to really connect and, and work together. So it, it was a very good starting point and we were all happy for that. And the second time is now. So I don't say no because you will hear a lot about it. So about the members, uh, today uh, in Eurotas the situation is like that. We have 31 organizational members. That means national association, institute, groups of uh, people, therapists or, or not, from uh, various countries, European countries and non-European countries. Among them, we have now seven accredited institutes that teach a transpersonal uh, psychotherapy. Uh, five of them are from Europe, and there is one in Israel and one in Australia, and we hope we will have more in the future. We have 17 individual members, which means that these are people who, uh, who apply, who, who uh, come personally. But it, it maybe it seems, a, uh, it seems a very, very small number, but it's because in the past, you know, the, 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 the origin of Eurotas, Eurotas was a group of as national association, and people were members through their association. So the, the process of having individual members is quite new. So it's a, a starting point, 70 people, so we hope to get more and more. We need to get more and more. Uh, we also have uh, 66 
uh, professional members. But as I am talking about what we call the fiscal year, which ended uh, the end of June, now we have seven more professional members who have been certified uh, two days ago. So the professional members are the uh, Eurotas certified therapist uh, who are part of this uh, uh, professional community, which and I don't say more now. Um, before we didn't have the status of professional members, we only had the certified psychotherapist. And uh, for now, I don't know, three, four years, something like that. We ask people, these people, to become professional members so that we can really create a, 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 a community, a, a very uh, a, a live community of uh, professional people. And this is really where we are, one of the, of the things we uh, focus on, not the only one. one of them. We also have uh, several departments, very different, very different. So you have heard about EDTR, the Department for Transpersonal Research. So you will hear more uh, later. Uh, we have a division of transpersonal art therapy. And we have the department uh, EDTE, which is the Department of Education. And ESTP, which is the Society for Transpersonal Psychotherapy. So these different departments don't have the same goals and same uh, objectives, and so their uh, rules are really, really different. So for, uh, let's say, the, the ESTP, the, the society, the scientific society, uh, which is uh, under construction, almost done, uh, the, the members will be the professional members. If it's not clear, if it, of course it is very clear for us because you know we work always with these notions, but maybe it's not uh, that clear for us. So then you, 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 you will ask questions. So the work of the of this year was mostly uh, consecrated to improvements in our procedures and the development of, of the this professional community of transpersonal psychotherapists and researchers. Uh, as this was announced at the last uh, General Assembly, I think every one of you have seen the new Eurotas website with a new logo, new color, it's great. Uh, new energy. I hope you, okay. you all like it. Yes, you like it. <laughs> so please come and visit this website. So this has been done through the work of Ludmila and Oleg, the webmaster, who is here. And with also now the possibility to pay via PayPal, which is uh, also a major uh, uh, step for us. So we also revised many documents and created new ones. Two board members uh, from EDTR, uh, Giovanna and Regina, made an audit on the documents we already had and the requirements that we needed to uh, apply again uh, to EAP, the European Association for Psychotherapy, because we need to become accredited by EAP as the representative association for transpersonal psychotherapy. It is very important in Europe. If you, if you are not recognized by them, then you, you do not exist in the, in the uh, psychotherapeutic field, but uh, it's not so easy, and it is less easy when you are transpersonal. So we needed to do a lot of work, and you know we already applied, I think, but they we have been rejected, and now we started the process from the very beginning and in, in a different way. I think I can say some things about this because I was in therapy for years. I've been the, the national delegate for Greece in EAP, EAP since 1998 to 2006. And for a method to be accredited, it has to 
have special criteria. So it passes through an assessment procedure. We do it. We know what we did wrong. It's taken a lot of time. Yes, yes. And now, you know, nobody is accepted at the process. You know, it takes several no. times to be accepted. At the beginning, it was different. You know, the beginning is the beginning. But, uh, so, may, may I just ask, is your task going to reapply? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. yes. This is exactly where we are. Because I am EAP accredited transpersonal psychotherapist. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Sure. I know there are many, but I got accredited through Slovenian Association for Psychotherapy, yeah. who do treat me a little bit like marginal, but yes. they're still okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, there. I'm also I'm also accredited personally by EAP. But now we need that Euro task, yes. you know, uh, yes. Yes. Uh, as an organization, scientific mm -hmm. society for transpersonal psychotherapy. In fact, it will not be your task as a whole, because in your task you also have people who are not psychotherapists. That's why we needed to create a department focused on psychotherapy, which is the European Society for Transpersonal Psychotherapy, which is a department in your I wanted to say uh, something about the whole page. It's very bad to find when you um, give the Eurotask at Google, you don't find it. Yeah. Eurotask two, 2014, you find. Yes. But Eurotask 4, you don't find. So we will work, we will work on that okay. item. Yes. <coughs> So we have also created a new statute for online supervisor, transpersonal supervisor, because this was a, a request from our members. You know, in the certification process, we ask people to be under supervision, but in some countries, they don't have transpersonal supervisor. So we started the process to have online supervisor and you can find them on the website. We have created a general code of ethics for all Eurotask members, so this is something new, not yet on the website. It's uh, still somewhere, but not on the website. And uh, of course, uh, EDTR has also a specific uh, uh, ethical uh, code, and ESCP has also one from years now, you know, this was the, the, the first one that had been created, and we created, we initiated an ethical committee who will be responsible for the ethical code. Uh, we have significantly improved the presentation of the ground parenting uh, procedure, which is not yet on the website, which will be very, very soon, within the next days. And um, we have also created a simplified process for people coming from an accredited institute. And now, if you are come from an accredited institute, you can uh, go, get the certificate very easily. It's very easy, and, and uh, it doesn't take time. And we will have more people with us. So. In your institute, you have to promote that and ask people, why don't you apply? <coughs> we have our own conference on the 7th of October. When okay. I come in there, okay. I will say it out loud. Okay, okay. We also started a complaint procedure, a charter, and a document with a criteria <coughs> for transpersonal psychotherapy and a list of transpersonal uh, methods modalities, which is not a full list, but a kind of a, we work on criteria for transpersonal modalities and give some a list as an example of <coughs> modalities. We also have the journal, internal journal, I should show you. Yeah, we, 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 I, so I don't say more, we will speak about it. 
uh, we also have a newsletter, and from the beginning, John Drew, is not here yet, uh, was the editor of the newsletter. Now this newsletter uh, is published three times a year after the board meetings. And John uh, said he wanted to resign, and he will do the last uh, one, that uh, newsletter, after this conference in October. So we want to really thank him, even if he's not here, but he will tell you when he, he, he appears, uh, for the excellent job he did for years, years, years. And um, it's important because it's a regular connection between the uh, Euripass uh, members. And um, we also thank Lindy McMillan because we thought she would be so unoccupied after this conference that she would be lost. So we found something for her, we asked her, and she said yes. So she will be the new editor of the newsletter. <laughs> Person, because here we, we we speak what we call Eurocast English, mm -hmm. which is uh, the English uh, I speak, and we made it uh, a real English speaking one. Thank you very much. Uh, last year, we were in the conference in Moldova. Um, Anke was here. She brought us uh, many old pictures from the past of Eurocast. And she, it was, you know, something she offered to... I have yeah. new old pictures. You have new old pictures. You know, she, she is incredible. Um, she has new old pictures. Yeah. And, and, and um, where can I kind of put them so that Vladimir, when you were young and beautiful... <laughs> <laughs> as a, a, a history, as a past, as a birth. And uh, progressively, you know, this memory will uh, disappear. And then, so an idea came to my mind, and I, we discussed together, and I said, ah, why don't you write the history of your past? And very generously, she said, yes, <laughs> you know, with this enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. So that's, last week, I received uh, the copy of uh, but this manuscript, 16 pages, with pictures and so on, very wow. nice. So, <laughs> thank you very much, and thank you very much. And when I received your manuscript, then another idea came to my mind, and I said, uh, we also have other elders here, here or not here, but some of them will come. Uh, tonight or tomorrow, yeah, and why don't we ask them to complete this work and give their, you know, their <coughs> memories, their anecdotes, their, you know, all things they have in mind. So I was thinking of uh, uh, John Drew, of uh, Moni, uh, Ingo, Vito, Tana, and many others. So if you want to collaborate, then Talk to me and Anke, and, and we'll see, we will send you the manuscript, and then we will add your own, uh, uh, not version, but your own uh, 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 contribution. So I think it's very, very important for you, Lotas, you know, to, to have a, a, a living memory and not to just uh, uh, know we are the second generation somehow. So I hope the elders. Uh, we appreciate you know, the, the way your task now is going. You know, it's different because the work is different. The needs of the work are evolving. Are different. So everything has to evolve. But it's important to, to keep, as you said, the roots. So you are, you know, you, you, you are the, the, the guarantee, or I don't know, the, the, you are these roots, and, and we need uh, your participation. So, as I mentioned, we also develop connection with uh, uh, other transpersonal, uh, international transpersonal uh, big association like ITA, a ATP. So, uh, we have the, the, the symposium, we have this conference, and we'll have uh, 
the one in Brazil next year that you will talk more about. Maybe not everyone knows this abbreviations. Yeah, I think I said them at the beginning that ITA is International Transpersonal Association. And ATP is American Transpersonal no, uh, Association, so <coughs> which is American, that's why I said American. <laughs> <laughs> so I would just finish by telling you that uh, you have a very, very active and busy board. We don't always agree. We have sometimes yeah. quite uh, intense exchanges, discussions. But you know, we are really committed and we do a lot of work and we also do some team building, you know, to improve our internal communication and mm -hmm. that was very, very good. Thank you. And uh, so now, um, but your task, it, it's not only this goal, it's all of us and we really need also your participation, your suggestion, your initiative, your questions or whatever comes from your heart, your mind. We are still here to be with you and to listen to you. And we have created a, a, a little space uh, outside nearly of the, the big uh, hall for doing this said this has been a very busy year for all board members a lot of things and all the board members will share some of the things that they contributed to your task this year uh, as board secretary I did attend all three of the European well actually two European and one Californian board meeting uh, at my own expense I did keep all the minutes and also did a lot of work on correcting the English in the documents before they're published. And as you know, if English is not your first language, sometimes there's a difference in how you would say something in English than someone from an English-speaking country. Um, what I'm most proud about is being instrumental in helping bringing about the collaborative effort of ATP, Association of Transpersonal Psychology, ITA, the International Transpersonal Association, and Eurotas to come together to cooperate both for, as Bernadette mentioned, the first global transpersonal symposium that was held in California. It was co-hosted by ATP and Sophia University. And it was made up of the board members from ATP, from Eurotas and ITA. And it was a very successful symposium. Most of the people I talked to were very appreciative that we were able to bring people from other parts of the country to California and to see that transpersonal is not just something in California and the U.S., that it is growing and very much expanding throughout the world. Um, I'm really happy to see that we've also collaborated with Synthesis for this conference here and that we're working with Alibrot, who's the organization in Brazil for the large international conference that will take place next September down in Brazil. I um, also spent a lot of time promoting this conference. I did come here in December at Lindy's request to do a shamanic seminar and to both introduce the work I do as well as promote the conference that is happening right now. Uh, at both the Global Transpersonal Symposium and the Society for Humanistic Psychology Conference, we promoted through ATP this conference. I am proud to say that I was able to bring 10 representatives from Sophia University between faculty, <coughs> students, and alumni that are actually presenting uh, in this conference. Let's see what else. Yeah. So that's really my contribution to this year. So I'm very happy to be both a part of ATP and Europe. So I'm happy to be here. Uh, well, I'm seeing you. My name again is 
Giovanna Calabrese from Italy, and this is my first year on the board of Europass, and I was enrolled in the in the board because of the Euro, Europass division of transpersonal research, and I'm also director of the uh, RTJ, the Integral Transpersonal Journal, and through this journal I, I'm trying with people working on the journal and authors publishing their papers to promote research and in, in the transpersonal and to promote research in the Europass community and uh, I hope also to expand knowledge of transper what the work we are doing as transpersonal psychotherapists and transpersonal in general psychologists and working in this field to promote what we are doing also on the outside. So I hope that in a few years we can get some <coughs> uh, either accreditation with PsycInfo or other kind of accreditation so that more and more people also outside Europe can have access to the journal, can know about the journal. And as EDTR with Regina, we are working with the board to, to go through the process of the accreditation with EA <coughs> and establishing the criteria for accreditation and certification. And um, well, I'm happy to be here and see that Eurotas is giving more space also to new people, like people coming from the US, as Stephen promoted the conference. And I hope that more and more people not just people from Europe us will come to the next meetings and uh, especially speaking with uh, people that we organized the meeting in 2016 is to really give space and voice to people not inside the Eurotas community and you know just to to expand our the presence of ourselves in the field. So thank you. Well, I'm Magda, Magda Soler, and uh, I'm not sure, but I think it's my, my four or five uh, year in, in Eurotas. Um, uh, I was a member of the ECCA before and after the ESTB. <laughs> and uh, for the certification, no, we work in that. And uh, I just spent my, my year in California, in Milano. Thank you very much for <laughs> your nice houses and nice places to work. Uh, and thank you very much. I want to uh, oh, Lindy is not there to make possible uh, Lindy and his <laughs> her uh, team to make possible this conference and uh, uh, in uh, Ludmila too because last year was a wonderful conference in, in, Moldova, in Moldova too and, and thank you all the board for making this nice work hard but very very big. Thank you very much. And thank you to you to be here and, and to make possible to create this Eurotas movement. Thank you. It's amazing to be in a team like that. What can you? What can I say? I, I want to encourage, encourage eh? become member of the, of our board. Yes, because uh, really it's my 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 passion. When somebody asks me what is your passion, to be member of the board. <laughs> 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 they say I'm going to Moldova. Right now, we will travel the world. I'm going to Moldova. Moldova where? Moldova. I'm going to California, but you're crazy. What are you doing? Okay. 
And that's, well, that's my passion, and, and I am fun, it's transpersonal, and I will later explain it. Thank you very much. First, I want to say that I am happy to see our past presidents here, and I hope to see them all last time. I am and I was one of the fighters inside, inside the bull. I passed my last uh, three years fighting and being unhappy for many things that were happening. Uh, but uh, now I can say that I am happy. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> I mean today, starting from today. Yeah. <laughs> yes, no. Since, uh, we start the process. The process starting uh, in California, then in Milan, uh, we had this our uh, nice uh, encounter group, <laughs> team building on the Brunate, and uh, the process to improve because of my my first. Uh, uh, reason to fight was that for me we are we are no more just a group of friends we are a big association of the transpersonal a transpersonal will <coughs> or may change the world so we have to be very strong and well organized and the, the criteria of our uh, uh, writings uh, our documents and uh, the, the, style, the style of the world have to be more professional and more higher. So I fight for this and I will still fight for this being in the board. <laughs> I want that. So if you like fighting, yes, you can. <laughs> but I love, I love it, all, the, all of you, Bernadette, and all, and I, and I, and I appreciate very much when we fight in face and we say the thing that we are not, uh, we, are, we don't agree, mm -hmm. just in face. This is a very important argument for the group and for the sport. Mm -hmm. In this, uh, in this thing, last year, I was very happy that was created in DTR. I was one of the sponsors of DTR. I, I, I believe uh, in research, not in the research, academic research, but I believe that we can find a, a new epistemology, a new science of the consciousness, a new ways to, to warrant our work. And so I am fighting for this. I am very happy that we create EDTR, that we are Finishing to create the SDP <laughs> and to, to, to start with the scientific uh, community. In this year, I am working to rework uh, with, the, with the famous 15 question to try to, to correspond to what uh, the ERP <coughs> asked because EDTF did a, 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 a a, a, a good job of uh, entering in the ERP uh, relations that they send uh, to us and uh, we, they, they give us a big report and now we know what we have to do better than in the past. So we are doing this. With uh, Vladimir we are, or we, we will, <laughs> Uh, work on the manifesto tra and transpersonal manifesto to share with the community. We are to starting a process to maybe a university or something like this, starting to join the program and join the, the institute to maybe create a university or collaborate with the ubiquitous university or some other university. Huh? We are doing this. We are doing this in this time. 
<laughs> the ETJ, we are doing the, the journal, the ETJ. And uh, last but not least, we are working with the festival. I, we want to do something very special. And of course, we can do this without all you and all your organization, or your uh, uh, support. We want to do something. First, the expo, there is the expo in Milan this year. Next year, that is uh, 20 million persons will come in Milan in, in six months. And we, we are accredited by the expo to do this uh, festival. So I think we will have a very big uh, advertising for this. And the idea, like festival, is to open transpersonal to all others, uh, <coughs> others uh, different mm -hmm. profession, for example. There are architects that work in a transpersonal way. There are biologists mm -hmm. that work in a transpersonal mm -hmm. way. There are artists, there are uh, uh, directors. So we want to collect all these people. We want to bring community together to do something strong. <coughs> so I think hope we see you all in Milan in June. Thank you. me to, to organize the conference in Moldova because I think in, in Europe uh, people more open uh, for this kind of uh, movement but for Moldova it was more quite difficult but uh, uh, I believe uh, we did everything possible to attract um, more more people to this field and uh, I'm very glad and, uh, uh, that it happened. I can, I can manage this. And for, um, as a board member, um, I participate and um, um, I contribute to renew and to make a new website and to change the style and uh, <coughs> working was with the structure also on the website. Um, we finished but uh, I, will, um, I will continue work uh, with the department of the news and uh, if you have some news from your association or individual um, <coughs> training or workshop, you can talk to me, we will um, make advertising on the, on, the, on the website of your activity. And uh, now, um, not now, okay, from the Milan, I have another work, I work with the basic uh, ethical principles and developer this basic ethical principles for the um, all uh, kind of member of Eurodas. And uh, I hope, I believe it will, uh, it will create uh, a committee of ethical principles for this kind of uh, members, not uh, psychotherapists, as for all general um, members. I'm a board member also since one year I came on board with Giovanna. As we said, we
we are co-founders of the Division of Transpersonal Research. My passion is I'm a, I'm a passionate practitioner but also a passionate researcher. So I like to build bridges and that's what is possible now also within your trust. So I'm really very happy that we were able to, to build that in one year and also have already events going on. So we are planning one event next year also in, in Milano. Um, a meeting of transpersonal researchers. So the idea is that we want to create a transpersonal researcher network and it will be initiated, I think, in May in Milano. 9th May. Yes. So you are all invited, you are all invited to contribute your experience also to that. So I'm interested in practice-based research, research that's coming out of the practice and I'm also interested in bringing it back to the community. So. The event what Pierre Luigi is doing, doing an arts festival, etc., is exactly what is my aim also, that the research findings need to go back to the communities. So I'm working also with film, making film, uh, working with arts and music to bring research findings back to the to the greater audience and to the world. What I love about the board is definitely the diversity, the many languages, the many countries. <laughs> Uh, the imperfectionism is of all us, uh, our vulnerabilities, um, our passion, I like our fiery discussions, and I feel we are really moving something here, so I feel very satisfied from the work we are doing, and I'm very thankful that I can be part of that. As I said before, my name is Yuri. I'm representing Estonia, even though I'm not Estonian. Uh, my great passion uh, in this field is education. Abraham Maslow says that after self-actualizing, you need to help others to self-actualize. And education and transpersonal education is very important. Um, I want to take the transpersonal beyond the psychotherapy which means instead of dealing uh, with those who go through a spiritual crisis, let's prevent it from the beginning by educating. Bring it the transpersonal even to a kindergarten, like teaching young children to meditate, instead of running around and screaming. Um, the other thing is I'm also part of the ESTP that is dealing with uh, accrediting institutes and uh, professional members. Uh, uh, we also, with Pier Luigi, we established this idea of students exchange and teacher exchange uh, between the different twinning twinning project. Twinning project between different institutes. Uh, we want very much to encourage uh, transpersonal education uh, in other countries. If you are interested to establish transpersonal education in your country, Please come to us. We now building up some kind of a curriculum that in, involve our different specialities, <coughs> so we can come to your different countries and contribute our share our knowledge with you and contribute to uh, your uh, your future institutes. Uh, also, national organizations. Uh, we need them. We need to expand. We are on a mission. The world is not a good place, so we need to do something about it. And the question is what kind of world we want to leave behind us for the next generation. So I'm asking the people present here, okay, who are not yet professional members but have qualifications, please join in. And I'm asking those who have disappeared for some years to come back and join us because we need you. Yes, <laughs> we need you. Yeah, back in the family, okay? Uh, because our strength is our unity. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, Vladimir Mike. Uh, I'm uh, Chief of uh, Personal Psychology at Moscow Institute of Psychoanalysis. And <clears throat> this year we had uh, a great event, uh, the first uh, diploma. Differences and uh, 50, 16 students got a master's degree in uh, transpersonal psychology. So uh, we continue our master program 
and uh, uh, like Yuri, I am very much interested in developing transpersonal education and uh, bridging a transpersonal psychology and mainstream uh, psychology, looking for a kind of uh, great big uh, um, joint perspectives. And uh, also, um, uh, I'm exploring now uh, with Piero Luigi and Yuri the possibility of um, collaborating between Euratas and Ubiquiti University. This is a project started by um, uh, Jim Garrison, <coughs> a president of Wisdom University, uh, to bring the best uh, uh, skills and experience from integral and transpersonal fields, fields into online uh, education, MBA program and bachelor program. So we are now intensively working on this program in several European countries and uh, looking for possibility uh, to uh, cooperate with uh, Eurotas. <coughs> also, I'm very much interested in the essence of the breathwork and uh, uh, psychotherapy and uh, one of my research program is pneumosynthesis, the essence of breathwork, uh, tracing back to pneumatics, the ancient uh, Greek um, uh, mystical practitioners uh, who put the breathwork uh, into the heart of the practice. And, uh, also um, so-called primordial psychotherapy or psychotherapy before psychotherapy, before Freud. And so I'm uh, exploring how people for thousand years solved the uh, problems. And uh, there's very interesting um, answers uh, about uh, uh, the roots, uh, the essence of what we name now a transpersonal psychotherapy. Thank you. So I'm board member and also executive director. So I can say that my everyday life is connected with Eurotas <laughs> through my computer at the offices now in Riga, in my studio, <laughs> and so uh, I'm nearly every day there, and uh, the first thing, the easiest, that I check all your emails and I answer to questions, and there are lots of emails I receive, and if I can't answer, I transfer it to someone who could answer it better. <laughs> and, uh, and I really like this job because I like international connections, I like international cooperation, I, and uh, I love that uh, it develops, and it develops in Europe as new members come, and they are interested in many things, and, and, and they join us. Uh, the other thing, I'm, I'm also a psychotherapist and a transpersonal psychotherapist and I have clients, I'm working with them and I'm also very interested in education and just now in Latvia we are developing a new uh, educational enterprise and transpersonal education institute uh, which will start, have, uh, start the, the four, first four-year program in January and we shall have teachers, uh, lecturers from Euratas, so uh, from 10 different countries. So I can tell you that this opportunity to be here and to be in this large, large community, it's, it's, it's very, very, it's great because uh, you can uh, have uh, knowledge from all the world in your institute. That's not just few people from your local country. Uh, so if uh, also if everyone is starting to developing practically the institute or some education enterprise, we can also ch exchange experience because we have already made the program, we have, have got the official state license in Latvia for that, yeah, and, and it was not easy, <laughs> but we did it. Uh, and so also we are working for the new Euratas website for the materials uh, together with Oleg and uh, 
Ludmila. Uh, of course, there there is a lot to develop. There are some uh, wrong texts and some spelling mistakes, but step by step we are developing this. And I, I want also to ask all the people who have their profiles as professional members or organizational members, please update your information and just send it to me. If you if something is changed, if something you, you want to, to, to add or take off, just send the information to me and, and then we'll do that. Do it. Yeah, and also I, I, I love to uh, to develop new ideas. Uh, and and uh, to realize them, uh, I'm also an artist. I'm also an art therapist. Uh, and uh, just now, in the next year, maybe I would like to work more also on the art therapy department. If you you know somebody who would be interested to join us and uh, to help, so welcome. Please contact me. Yes. That's it. I think okay, all together we can make this world better. Coming together. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know how you look at uh, the American Association, which has been around, but I hope you will feel that you are an inspiration to, to us uh, completely. So, uh, all your work is having a ripple effect, I'm sure, through Stephen, he'll tell you it as well. Uh, it's, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thank you. I was put on the spot by Yuri, so I can respond to it. Uh, I came back with the dear to my heart idea of elders, and uh, as I know, as you know, you are, I was calling transpersonal elders for many, many years already, and I believe uh, we have a situation in a world of kind of global emergency. Uh, Global spiritual emergency, which is the you know the world is inflamed in many places, and we are in a real deep spiritual crisis, economic, spiritual, uh, ecological crisis. So, what I really believe from my heart that uh, we are, you know, experienced enough, and we can gather our healing and spiritual forces to come together and and really deeply exchange and inspire each other on the, how we want to respond to this world in, a, in such a, a global emergency uh, situation. So I'm really happy that so many people responded uh, from you know, volunteering to sit in the Council of Elders and uh, through Lindy who, who was supporting this project and sent uh, the invitation and we all send the invitation to you. And I'm, I'm really grateful for, for you responding to it. And uh, so we sit in the council Saturday night, I understood. Yes. And uh, Vitor agreed to, to, to help me with facilitating because it's really uh, a difficult uh, challenge. So I am really grateful and I invite you to, to come for this Council of, of, of Elders uh, gathering and maybe we come with some creative solution and we can make a report on it and send it to maybe, you know, to the larger community. And the last sentence, I envision this uh, Council of Elders as the representative of the, uh, of the uh, collective wisdom of transpersonal uh, transpersonal community. You know, that's not only that these people are wise and old, but they represent the transpersonal community, the collective wisdom. So
So I really hope for deep, deep exchange. Thank you so much. Can I just say something that on the program you will see that the time of the soul of Europe was after the Council of Elders. So the Council of Elders will run at the same time as the soul of Europe. The, soul of, the Council of Elders will be here and the soul of Europe will be there because it is felt that it was starting too late. So in order for it to start earlier, they will have to run simultaneously because otherwise, you know, we miss the one opportunity. So I just wanted to mention that. I know, Jean, that's why we put it earlier, and the, so we put it just before the Soul of Europe, but the board has asked me and told me that the Soul of Europe is starting too late, so people will not want to go, and, and there is no other solution. Um, there is no other evening for us to put the Soul of, to put the Council of Elders, because each evening we have got a full program. What, what about no doing it at uh, Friday evening instead of DJ? Mm -hmm. yeah. Because Friday the elders yes, don't do sure. DJ. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that is up to you. Of course, if you wish to do it on Friday yes. evening, yes. that's fine. Yes. You must be aware, yeah. though, that Friday evening the workshops are going on until 8.30 and you're supposed to have dinner at 8.30 because you can't have dinner later, dinner closes, so you have time between 8.30, and then when will you do the council? What about 8 o'clock? 8 o'clock there are workshops still going on. Yes, of course. Just absolutely. Yes, absolutely. And you can find the solution because people will be Okay. You know, but it's always about making choices. Absolutely. I want to contribute a personal experience I had yesterday, yesterday afternoon. Uh, so we. Uh, we, we had this Christianity, we had this pre-conference workshop, and then we finished it at, uh, at about five o'clock uh, in the afternoon. And so we passed here this, this space, and during the pre-conference workshop, we passed it several times, and what I felt and what I saw that the board was working and working and working all the time. You know, I could feel the energy, and I want uh, to thank all the board for your hard and engaged work, for your fighting, for engagement, and for your step, uh, continu uh, uh, continuity in doing that. So th I, I realized how much engagement it requires to be in the world and how hard this work is. So thank you all. <laughs> I think now it's time for the numbers and give you a short report because, you know, it, it will be short because the amount of money is very, very small. <laughs> but more than it ever was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah.
The real budget 2013-2014, you could see incomes, revenue of organizations, 4,523. Accredited, accredited institutes, 1,250. Individual members, total incomes, total revenue, 10,047 <coughs> euros. Our association is financed by the, all, all the members. Thanks to you all, we exist. <coughs> if you don't pay a fee, you could not exist. we could not exist. And then you have the expenses. Number one, executive director. Number two, webmaster. Number three, domain hosting. Number four, office supplies. Number five, travels and decorative director. Number six, board dinners. For the next projected budget, we erase, we cancel board dinners because we have to save money. And li like we pay all our travels and dinners, uh, well, we, we, we prefer to keep money in cash. And then we have ETG subscription. Our investment of this year, it has been the new website that you have seen, our new web. And then different items. Total, 13,202. That means we had not a profit this year, but we expect next year with projected budget to have profit because this year is this year an investment, investment on of uh, for for the new executive director, investment of a website, and then we think that now we are ready to grow, to spread to our planet of our transpersonal way of life, philosophy, optimism. That's my annual report to you. Perfect. I could be more long, no. but I think that if you want Please. details, I can explain you. Yeah? And I will embrace all of you for your important support. That's make a successful association. Without you, don't exist. And I am at your disposal for more informs and questions. If you like more numbers, more interest, if you recommend, suggest to change the bank from Austria to a uh, paradise fiscal, it doesn't matter. Eh? Switzerland. Switzerland. Switzerland it could be a good place. No more the time. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you very much. report you understand that we really need more members. I think it's not, uh, it's easy to which means we need the members to pay. Uh, also yeah we need new members and we need a member pay. Okay. That's one. We need supporters or donators also mm -hmm. donators also they are welcome. In fact we are more rich than this. <coughs> yeah. yeah yeah but it's improving. It's improving. So now we need to vote uh, the approval of the board, of the, the numbers, the report, and the duties of the board. So you've been uh, given, if you are a member, you have been given <coughs> voting cards. So if you vote for, could you please raise your hand with your cards? Mm -hmm. If you are in favor of and you approve and you support the work we have done, please tell us. Okay. So it's not necessary to come because we will do it in the other way. So is there anybody against? Abstention? 
Okay, so unanimous. We, we don't need to count. We have uh, unanimous. Okay. What? We are voting for the approval of the duties of the board, the report we gave, and the numbers. Not together. Not together. Maybe one is a little agree with this ah. and one and don't agree okay. with this. Okay. I try to make it... Uh, <laughs> yeah. okay. so, so first, the duties. So is there anybody against? Any abstention? Okay. So, the numbers. And now, financial report. Okay. Is there anybody against? Abstention? And four? Enemies. Mr. Secretary. Okay. So, uh, next one normally is to speak a little bit about the uh, future projects for next year. But uh, as you listen to us, you already uh, got some information about that. So, I think we will not. Uh, uh, huh? Yeah, so I, I, we will do that very quickly because you have uh, everything. So, um, the development of EDTR, the Department of Research, and the creating of a, a, of a, a network in, in... Okay, so you've already said. So, it just, I just mentioned the different points. So, ESTP, we... We, we, will, we need to complete the process of the creation of this uh, uh, transpersonal uh, professional department and the committee that will, win, will uh, run this department. Uh, so this is a direction of, the, of the, uh, improving and developing the pro professional aspect of Eurotas. Um, we also need to develop more inst transpersonal institutes. And you have heard a little bit uh, about what happened in different countries, in Latvia, for instance, and other people, you know, starting projects about uh, creating a, a new transpersonal institute. So we are also uh, like a support system for these uh, initiatives. Uh, so then we, you, we also said that we will uh, do again the process of, of application to EAP. There is also this beautiful festival in Italy because next year we will support and, and be part of the International Transpersonal Conference in Brazil. So we decided to maintain some uh, 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 European event because uh, nobody, n not everybody will be able to come to Brazil. So we created something completely new, which is more about performance, about uh, uh, enjoying, uh, uh, meeting. Okay. Yeah, and, and also for, for students, new generation, so it will be something different, maybe more open and more fun, maybe. Could you, could you tell us a bit more about the festival? So, okay, so, Pierre uh, The idea is transpersonal is not something that can to be uh, closed inside the professional psychotherapy. Transpersonal is a vision, is a transcultural vision that <coughs> is uh, everywhere. <coughs> so we want to do this event that bring uh, the, com the, the intent is bringing community together, that is bringing together all persons, people in every different uh, uh, profession or uh, part of life that are in this process of uh, the inner experience of the spirituality, of the qualities of life, of the better in the world and so on. And let know to these people that there is a movement, there is a vision that can gather all this together. So we want to open to the common people or to the other community of professionals. And having this opportunity that there is the expo in Milan. So and the, the title of the expo is? The title of the expo is Feeding the, the, the Planet. planet. The planet. So. And we're doing Feeding the Soul, 
the, the municipality of Milan <coughs> did this expo in Città, expo in the city, for uh, help uh, all other side events of the expo, and they already accepted <coughs> our project to be part of the, the expo. So we think that we can do something very large for the large body. And that is ceremony, ceremony is uh, the chanting, telling story, because you know Centro Dompio, the place, no? Is a, the center where we do this is a, a hill with many, like, like here, yeah, no? Many, many buildings uh, in the middle of the forest and we can do different performance or groups or maybe in different uh, it is in Central Tokyo. It is in Milan. It, there are three parts. One day in Milan with the keynotes key and uh, the parade. Where is it? We do a, a very interesting the, a parade in the first day in Milan. And the, the last three days in Central Tokyo for workshop ceremonies, uh, meetings, uh, performance. And during the week, uh, we, we contact many other partners that this center that uh, do therapies, uh, uh, cinemas, uh, theaters, uh, uh, gallery of art, uh, that want to participate doing other side events to open in you know, the city, different events connected with this. This is the idea, we are starting now, and we need uh, all you to have ideas, for example, to musicians uh, to invite, or uh, architects, or theater, uh, groups of theater, or, uh, no, we have to collect all the activity, <coughs> which is the human activity. Um, yeah, hmm? also, maybe you are going to have um, the like an open competition for poetry, oh, yes. or uh, maybe yeah. art, like photography, so that people can, you know, send whatever they feel to produce. Uh, mm -hmm. Ank! Ank! Too late. <laughs> Thanks to Ank, we will do a rumor prize. <coughs> for, we are deciding in for uh, the idea is to do uh, three prizes, one for research, maybe may students that do a, a good uh, research or a, a, study, a work of study or something like this, one uh, in uh, the literature, maybe poetry or something like this, and maybe one uh, in, in methodology, technology, transpersonal technology or something like this. We are thinking about it. Yes, yes. I introduced myself earlier, but let me say again, Les Lancaster, and I, I'm here representing ITA, the International Transpersonal Association. Um, and I just want to say it's wonderful to see the, the, the diversity of things that are being promoted through Eurotas. Um, and of course, this, the festival you're talking about is part of that diversity and uh, the more events that can seed the uh, feeding of the soul, as you call it, uh, in our world, the better. So, well done for organising that. I think it's probably appropriate to mention at the same time the, the, the conference that is being planned uh, by Alubrat, Alubrat being the, the Transpersonal Association of Portugal and Brazil. Yes. I looked to Vita <laughs> just to make sure I got that right. Um, and uh, the, the, the timing is quite well spread because the, the Brazilian conference, it will be in Brazil, is at the beginning of September. Uh, I think the date's the 4th of September it starts. 4 to 7. 4 to 7th, yeah. With a theme of um, uh, conscience, consciousness in transformation, uh, and I, I'll say a little bit more about that later. In any case, um, so it's just to put in here uh, a, a date for people's diaries as well. And uh, who knows, people should go to the festival and the conference. Yes. Why not? Yes. 
without doubt, because the festival wants to, to collect people that never heard them about Trump personal, uh, so there is more clients. Ah, so, you, <coughs> so you'll be able to tell them to come to Brazil. For to come to Brazil. But when I say that we have to speak more, and stay more in contact, IDA and Europe, is to prepare the events for the last years, because this year, in 2015, is a good timing, yes. but we have things and, for the future too. And, and since I'm just speaking now, let me also reinforce what's been said, uh, that, that the synergy between our organizations is, is so, so important. I think, you know, when I started speaking just now, listening to what you're doing in, in, in the committee and obviously in, in Eurotest as a whole, it's very impressive. I think, it, I think you, you've achieved a great deal. I mean, notwithstanding the budget, but that's not what I'm talking about. There are always issues there. Um, but, it, 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 you know, it's really good. And uh, as Stu said, said before about it, it's an inspiration. But I think, you know, the, the global community is the way forward. And that we operate in harmony. We support these events <coughs> together. I think that's, that's, that's a great development, and again, thanks to Stephen especially for, for initiating that, you know, this, this, latest, this latest direction through what we did last February. It's very, very effective. So, okay. Thank you. Back to you, John. And I think there's a lot where we can contribute together there, so just a little marker that we should <coughs> Also introduced the 2016 conference because you know it, it's important to start thinking of it, start, starting to have that in, in your mind. So Ilie will uh, organize it in Romania. It's Constanza by uh, uh, Black Sea. Yes, but I need the uh, help because I don't speak uh, very good English. And uh, <laughs> Ludmila help. <coughs> okay. Uh, in 2016, uh, Otas will organize it. Uh, in uh, Stationia Venus. Venus. In Venus. Venus. Uh, yeah. The venue of the conference will be Constanza. Okay. Uh, it's very interesting. The hotel is called Aphrodita. Venus and Aphrodita. The hotel will be Aphrodita. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Vom încerca, eu, voi încerca acolo, pe lângă asociația mea, să implic și două universități mari. Pentru a crește, și de asemenea voi implica și colegiul psihologilor din România. Pentru că, da, pentru că în România, Colegiul Psihologilor reglementează toată activitatea psihologică. Da. Da, și vreau să accepte și psihologia transpersonală și să... Și această conferință va constitui un ajutor reciproc și românii să accepte și psihologia transpersonală. Da. And the date? Uh, 21 September. Yeah. 21st, from 21st of September? Yes. And? Uh, 25. Uh, and uh, after... Uh, da, și după. Deci 25. Da, da. 21st, 25th. Okay, so 21st of September. Stop to put that in your mind. It's Constanza. So the title, the subject has not been decided. So we will have to be Maybe Glad, Aphrodite. Yes, yes. maybe yeah. yeah. How many kilometers from Bucharest? Uh, 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200
Eu m-am ocupat întotdeauna de transport. Deci, a fost transport de la București. Ah, he said don't worry, he will make the transport from București to Constanța. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. Some more uh, uh, ideas we are working on. Uh, the project of the uh, European Transpersonal, Uni Transpersonal University. So I, I will not develop that uh, uh, now because it, it's a project. There are several uh, possibilities and it's, it's not something uh, easy. So we, it will take time. It's, it's going to be just in one year. But it's a, a project that it's, it's becoming more and more uh, concrete. Uh, there is something new about the journal. We have two yes. issues a year, and now what has been decided is... We decided that with the help of the EDTR uh, and the STP, we decided to differentiate the two issues. The first one will be presenting a, a methodology, monographic, presenting or a methodology or a research or a Some, a field, something no? uh, in a transpersonal uh, uh, work, methodology. And the other uh, will be the collecting, uh, col we collect uh, the keynote speaker or interesting presentation of the conference, of the annual conference. So if You are idea, we are, if you, we have methodology, some technologies, uh, some uh, research that you want to present, you can think about for this uh, issue, annual issue on monographic. And as I said, the other will be the best presentation of the... So if you think you will do the best presentation <laughs> of the conference, then dare to send then. it to him. <laughs> If not, maybe we'll come back next year. But uh, <laughs> maybe we, we will be not accepted because the two, the two, the, the director, the peer reviewer are very, very strict. severe. <laughs> because we want, uh, because we want, uh, we want, I want a day don't want yet to apply for the seek info and so on to be accredited. But they say, no, not yet, it's, not, it's too low yeah. <laughs> for now. So we want to increase the quality to be accredited in seek info. Well, if I can say something, just, is it, um, with Regina, what we are trying to also to do is to um, with a peer, peer, peer reviewing process to work with authors. So if we, when we, when we received a paper that was that was very interesting and you know it maybe it needed some work to be done on the paper to be uh, to improve the quality of the academic presentation. So it's not just the content, of course, but the the way the the content is expressed and is you know, articulated in a way that the academic quality would be improved. And this is because if we want to open out toward the outside, not just the transpersonal and the Europa speed, we, we really need to improve the way we present what we are doing. And because of our personal background, I speak for myself and also for Regina, and We feel really in charge of this duty and we work a lot on, on this and really it takes a lot of effort to work with authors in this direction. And so we even if at the beginning it, it's not nice to be, you know, to receive a letter that you need to work a little bit on your paper and you know it's it can be hard to receive this kind of letter, but we really are eager to work on this with the authors and this not just for <coughs> to, to look a nice 
but really to be ready and go there in the field with doctors. I speak for the medical field, but also for psychologists. Really, you know, to see, okay, this is a really good journal, and maybe I can use this paper for a dissertation or for another article. So, you know, it's, it's a way to be more um, acknowledged from the academia. Can I just um, query with that um, it would always be in the totally in English language. So yeah. all the papers from all the different countries and their natural languages, you're looking at a quality that is going to meet also the standards of the English language. Um, yeah, it's a fairly high requirement. Uh, yeah, I know this one. I did also a lot of work in um, in the medical field mm -hmm. and from Italy, and I can tell you that also you know for medical journal we had to translate and to work with translators to make it in acceptable English language. So I know that it's it's hard, but it's, it's a, the only way. And I don't know if Regina wants to add something about this issue as she, she works also on the peer reviewing process. I would just encourage you, it means um, most of us are not native English language speakers, so all of us are struggling, but we are really, means we are not able to edit the paper, so you would need to have it edited in a kind of acceptable English language way, but then we can help you polish it up in an academic way and make it uh, logically with a flow, so I would really encourage you that you submit papers and, and we are ready to have discussions and work with you together. How, how long would you like papers to be? It, it's different, we can give you the information later. Thank you. So, um, another thing we are working on and normally should be ready soon is a marketing plan because, you know, this is uh, what we already said, and the last thing I will say, we need to develop Eurotas and the Eurotas community and the number of members for many, many reasons. So we, we, we need to establish something more uh, professional, not only, it's, it's networking, but, you know, it, at different level. So this will be also something that will be done uh, quite soon, uh, in 2014. Uh, 2015. I think that's all. Yeah. From us, from us, maybe something else from you. I just want to say something very quick. I'm really <coughs> excited that all of you are here, and I thank you all for showing up for the delegates' meeting. It's important that we are engaged in this movement, this transpersonal movement that we're all a part of. I think, like some of the board members have mentioned, I think there's a lot of problems. There are a lot of problems in the world right now, and I think that educating people about the transpersonal vision, the transpersonal principles and values is a value, valuable thing to help make this a little better world. I would encourage you, I'm, one of my duties with Eurotas is also the networking. I would really encourage you to come up to me during the conference and let me know about what activities you're doing throughout the world. It's very important for people to know that this is not just a small little group of people that <coughs> happen to be, have a certain vision, but that it is happening all over Europe. It's happening in Russia, happening in South America. It's happening in all areas of the world. And it's really important for both our website to have news from all of you about what you're doing, the activities you're doing, the institutes that you're opening up, as well as the newsletter. So I just encourage all of you to let us know. Either <coughs> send it to Ingrida or send it directly to me. But let us know at Eurotas what all of you, as Eurotas members, are doing to promote and grow transpersonal <coughs> throughout the world. So, thank you for your involvement and thank you for your continued contribution. Peter? Oh, I'm sorry, but 
I could not resist this one. Um, in a way, in a way, I'm I have been departing a little bit from science towards uh, esoteric stuff. And so my thing is that I believe that Eurotas must really exist at the so-called psychic hyperspace. <coughs> if we consider that there is a sort of a godlike world, and then there is a navel of the world, meaning a psychic level, where <coughs> very high ideas and energies precipitate into this world of ours, the human dimension, I would say that we must dare to go there and create erotas there also. So I would ask people to depart a little bit from time to time in meditation from just thinking about networking at the human level and producing something at the human level to really think about Iwotas as a powerful energy entity mm. at higher levels contributing to the world of the humans. Because I think that can really make a difference and a different kind of movement at those higher levels. Because I think if we really think they are there and they exist and we really have the feeling that we participate in them, then we can dare working from there also. And I think that will make a major difference. Mm -hmm. That can produce a creative and attractive psychic entity called Erotas, so to say in psychic hyperspace. So this is my suggestion also. Or aren't we already doing that already? No. no. <laughs> yes. We are not. No. Yes. We are not. Yeah. Okay. And I would like to say also that uh, Stephen say about networking, uh, for sharing your activities, my wife and me, Magda and me, during 20 years, we have a travel agency, Shamanic Trips. We organize Shamanic Trips to Baikal Lake, to Siberia, to Mexico, and to Uzbekistan, Silk Road. Shamanic with uh, with the uh, different uh, shamans in Uzbekistan. Then please share your activities, share your 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 different things that you have. It's a it's an opportunity this space, and you have this year for first time our our table, Eurotas table in the entrance. You have a small space, and you will be you can share there. Yeah, thank you for telling that. Uh, if you have uh, flyers information from your association. <coughs> the table is not big, but uh, we would be happy you know, to have some copies of what you are doing uh, uh, in all your countries. So this was the idea. You know, This is a Eurotas uh, table for Eurotas members. So you can use it. We can use it. OK, thank you very much for coming and uh, enjoy the conference that we start uh, tonight.